Well, it's a beautiful uh, Sunday morning, and it's time for another Sunday sit-in uh, involving USA Hockey's National Team Development Program. I'm Pete Krebsky alongside John Edwards. Glad you could join us. Our guests uh, today, Dylan Duke and Ty D Gallagher of uh, the 2003 Date of Birth Group. Uh, they'll be back uh, real shortly to work uh, and play as U18. I want to let you know this segment is brought to you by the Summer Drive-In at USA Hockey Arena. Summer Drive-In is open for business. And uh, if you can give the hotline a call at 734-927-3284. Summer Drive-In at USA Hockey Arena. John, you got to get that sponsor mentioned in. Brought to you by Community Financial Credit Union. Right here for you. And before we get to our guest, John, we might as well let them know what the movies are because uh, I know people are excited about that. On screen one, it's going to be Onward, which is a PG-rated film. On two, on screen two, Sonic the Hedgehog, rated PG. And on screen three, something that never happens to Dylan Duke, The Invisible Man, rated R. So guys, thank, thanks for letting me get that in. Uh, again, we're joined by Ty Gallagher and Dylan Duke. And guys, the first question I want to ask you, how are you dealing with the uh, quarantine? I know, Dylan, uh, things are getting close back to normal, but I'll ask Ty first, how are you dealing with uh, being at home all the time? Uh, you know, it's a change, but uh, it's nice to have some family time. Uh, just been working out, shooting some pucks, golfing a ton, been out in the boat about three, four days a week. I was telling Dylan earlier, but, uh, you know, it's fun. Uh, it's just, it definitely is different. So, so Dylan, I, I understand things are a little bit looser in Ohio, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, things are, they're getting close to pretty much back to normal. I mean, <clears throat> we're, we're in rinks and uh, there's full team practices going on and um, guys are in locker rooms and uh, me and my brother have been skating three, four times a week. Um, so restaurants, you go to restaurants and stuff. So it's been, uh, it's been nice to kind of get back to normal and get back in an ice rink. Well, Dylan, that's a great segue because John, uh, starting tomorrow, uh, we can get back into the office. Some of us are going to be working a part of the time in the office, part of the time uh, in, in, at home. I know we're excited to get uh, back into USA Hockey Arena. Very much looking forward to it. Uh, you know, it's same, same for us, Krupp, right? You know, not, not being in the, in the rink all the time. It's, uh, it's a little wearing on you, but the driving opening up, CJ is opening up. You kind of spend some time in there, and it, it'll be nice, and even in a limit, limited capacity, to, to get back and see everyone. Now, John, I got a question for you. Uh, last year was your first look at a U-17 team. What did you like about this 2003 group uh, as you watched them uh, night by night? I mean, the, the skill, I think, was pretty obvious, and that was uh, all the way down through the team. We got Dylan and Ty with us here, and, and especially Ty on the, on the blue liners. A lot of uh, defensemen who want to get up into the play. They want to score some goals. Uh, they want to help create some breaks. Um, and then guys who can finish up top. You got Dylan here. You got Chaz Lucius. Uh, you know, Sasha is out there, and, and it's, a, it's a really talented team, and I'm looking forward to uh, the advancements they can make into their 18 season. And, Ty, you're part of a very uh, mobile uh, defensive group by yourself and Sean Barons and others. Uh, Got to be fun playing with all those guys. Would that be fair to say? Yeah, no, it's a great – it's great. Uh, you know, me and Murchie are usually together, and uh, he's great to play with. But, yeah, we're a very offensive group, so. Dylan, uh, when I talked to uh, one of your coaches, Mike Leone, he loves your work ethic. And I know uh, maybe one of the uh, – ways to describe your team uh, grinders with skill would that be fair to say yeah definitely uh i think coach robo uh definitely uses that a lot and um you know skill grinders you, you kind of need we do it all i think uh we'll get down low and win battles in corners and battle in front of the net and do whatever it takes to win block shots so but then we could also play a skilled game and play with the puck so it's a lot of fun ty uh, uh i was doing a little reading about you and uh Something that uh, I find it, it's very positive, but it's kind of unusual. Uh, you don't see a lot of high school hockey uh, players or high school hockey people uh, get involved with the United States Hockey League in Michigan or the National Team Development Program. But you're, uh, you're past, uh, you dealt quite a bit with high school hockey, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. So my, my dad was a gym teacher, and he had a couple of the hockey players on his, uh, in his class. 
and they kind of took me under their wing and introduced me to hockey and I've loved it ever since. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, who, who were those players again? Uh, I'm trying to think of their names. This was a while ago. Yeah. But it was Kyle Cummings was like, was my main, main guy. So he, uh, he really took me under his wing. So. Dylan, what, what were some of your influences growing up? I'm sure your family was a big part of it, but uh, if you could pick a coach or maybe a player, who would that be? Um, probably my dad. Uh, my dad coached me all the way up when we lived in Cleveland. Um, and he played hockey growing up too. Uh, he played at the University of Western Michigan. Um, so he was probably a really big influence on me and my brother to kind of love the game. And um, he was able to, he taught us so much. And um, it's just, it's, it's awesome. Cause my, my mom's brother actually played at Western Michigan with my dad and they were roommates. So that's how my parents met. So it's pretty cool. It goes way back and kind of everything goes through hockey. So. So Dylan, uh, you have this Western Michigan connection, but you're going to the University of Michigan, at least committed to it. Uh, what went into that decision? Um, I mean, it, my par my dad kind of let, let me do my own thing. He didn't, uh, didn't really persuade me to go to Western Michigan. He wanted me to do my own thing, but uh, I just fell in love with the coaching staff and what they had to offer at the University of Michigan, and uh, I'm super excited to play there. And Ty, I know, uh, again, in reading about you, uh, your parents, at least uh, your dad, uh, comes from an educational background. Uh, so going the college route was, uh, was a natural fit for you, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. They, uh, they put a big stress on education. So, so again, uh, to reset, this is the Sunday sit-in. Uh, we talk uh, USA Hockey National Team Development Program and meet the players. I'm speaking with uh, Ty Gallagher and Dylan Duke, who are uh, back uh, in 2020-21 as a U18. We look forward to them. Uh, uh, guys, this is just an open-ended question, uh, especially early on. You both, you, you had a lot of success with your team, especially in overtime. What was the mindset, Ty Gallagher, going into all those overtimes early in the year when your team was having success? You know, it just... Uh... I feel like we excel under pressure and we just wanted to play our game in those situations and uh, we just let our skill take over. And uh, I think the three on three was a big advantage for us. So, um, yeah. That's a great point. And Dylan, again, as, uh, as Ty said, uh, skill three on three with all your skill and grinding ability, it seems to be a natural fit, right? Yeah. I mean, I think uh, a lot of it comes down to what we do in practice and all the, all the small area games we play and how we always go till the we're playing till the end of practice and we're not giving up and there's always a winner in the small area game. So um, it kind of fixes our minds to, you know, play till the last buzzer and play till the end and uh, battle off, battle it out and try and win. Dylan, if you were to pick a, a condensed area all-star team among your group, who would they be besides yourself? Of course. I mean, you got some real snipers on that team. No, oh, I mean, anyone, honestly, we got so many guys, Chaz, Sasha, Barry, um, you could go through the whole lineup. I mean, I don't think it really matters. Everyone's going to, everyone's going to pitch in. Ty, how do those uh, reduced, uh, uh, reduced uh, surface games help you as a defenseman? I guess you got to be really quick out there, right? Yeah, so I, I think it helps. I mean, it helps a little bit with skill because it's so you're so close to everyone. So you got You have to work on your skill, and then also I think it helps with my stick positioning because you're always one on one with someone. If they have the puck, you you have to have your stick out there, or else they're they're gonna score. So um, I think that helps a lot. John, what do you got? I, I know we got a couple of goals of these guys uh, from last year, uh, but what do you have for? Uh, I want to uh, bounce into something a, a little different. A lot of a lot of times when you get these uh, teams, you know, you get twenty three guys from all over the nation coming together. Uh, you guys had a little different experience here playing at USA Hockey Arena on the CompuWare team together with a few more of your teammates. Uh, you know, Red and Sasha there as well. Uh, Dylan get, getting to play with Tyler on that team as well a little bit. You guys are very familiar with each other. How does that help you as you come into uh, into the national team development program? Um, I think it, it kind of just, um, you already have a little bit of a connection and it, you kind of feel um, maybe a little 
little more like a little safer like you're not when you're coming in you don't you're not coming in without knowing anyone and kind of we already had a connection and then right as we got there instantly our team just had a connection and I think maybe it helped a little bit some of the guys knew each other from not even just us um from other things other camps playing games tournaments spring tournaments whatever so I think um our team was able to form really quickly and um bond really quickly Ty, we, yeah. we talked about uh, how how we like uh, you guys like the defensemen to lead the rush and get up there. Does uh, knowing some of the forwards' tendencies previously help you play into that? Yeah, I think it helped because I mean, me, Dylan, Red, and Sasha we all had some chemistry from Compuware, so I think it uh, it helped like an easy uh, jump into the USHL a little bit. So like with the chemistry with those guys, but uh, as Dylan said, I mean the whole team has a, has chemistry now and it was very quick. So, uh, but I think it was a little bit, it was helpful to get a jump start with the four guys. So you, you talked about that adjustment there going into the USHL. How was that for you? And what's, uh, what's your anticipation on taking that next step to playing some college teams this upcoming season? Yeah, I think the, uh, the biggest thing that we had to adjust to was the speed. I mean, in Johnstown, the first shift, you could realize you're like, wow, like these guys are fast. But uh, you know, it took a little while, but you get used to the speed, and I think that uh, I think that's gonna be another jump into college and then playing against you know older 20 year old guys. Um, I think the size is gonna be a uh, difficult, but uh, it's gonna be an easy jump in because of all the stuff that we have uh, to offer here at the USA. So uh, I think it'll be good. Looking forward to that. Dylan, you got a, a tiny bit of experience there at the end of the season playing uh, up with the 18s. What did you learn from that team, maybe from some of the leaders on there that you can help bring to the rest of your guys for this upcoming season? Um, I think I, I took away a lot from that experience. I mean, um, I got to see guys like <clears throat> Jake Sanderson and, uh, you know, Maddie Beneers and guys like that, that <clears throat> you get to see how they go through their everyday um, life at the rink from school to the rink and then on the road and how they take care of themselves, how they, how hard they work in the weight room. And uh, I think I could take some of that away and, uh, you know, use it to help our team next year. Cause I got to see them kind of start to prepare for the U18 world championship. And uh, you know, that's the goal for everyone. And that's the goal for our team is to win that. So I think as much as um, I could take away from that and how they were getting ready, uh, I think, um, it's going to be a lot, very helpful for next year. And, you know, um, it was a really good experience. Now, Dylan, you're known as a goal scorer, but uh, uh, on your team last year, you were killing penalties and playing in a defensive role. What was, what was that adjustment like for you? Have you always done that uh, uh, throughout your career? Yeah, I mean, uh, I've always liked to play, kill penalties and play in the defensive zone. And, well, I don't like to play in the defensive zone, but uh, <laughs> when we have to, I don't mind it. Uh, I like it like blocking shots for my, for my team and um, doing whatever it takes. So um, whatever, whatever I have to do uh, on the ice, I'm going to do it. So. And that's a big change, isn't it? You go from uh, maybe just a sniper on a team earlier to where you really have to uh, develop your game in all areas, not just scoring goals, right? Yeah, yeah it is. I mean, um, I think when we, when we played 16s the year before for Compuware, um, I still did a lot of uh, killing penalties and, um, doing a good job in the defensive zone. So I think I made the transition to um, the USHL and having to play a lot more defensive or not, yeah, defensively, you know, when, when we had to, so, and kill penalties. So I, I think it was good. Ty Gallagher, how did your position coach, uh, Coach Hino, help you? I know he's one of the snappiest dressers uh, in the rink uh, among everybody in the NTDP, but how else did he help you? Yeah, I mean, he helped me. He just gives me little tips. I mean, he gives the whole decor, but uh, he gives us little tips on, like, stick positioning and then, like, stuff in the corners to help you win battles. So, uh, I think that really helped my game this year. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm definitely going to have to uh, check my style, my game day style after seeing him this year. So, I agree with that. Uh, we got another five minutes with uh, Ty Gallagher and Dylan Duke. Uh, Members of the 2003 Date of Birth NTDP team that will be back in 2021. And there will be hockey back at USA Hockey Arena sooner than you might think. And we look forward to that. Uh, John, we got a couple of clips of these guys uh, doing what they do really well. Uh, why don't we show them? 
You're doing what they do, and that's scoring goals. And uh, yep. on special teams as well for each of them, one, uh, one on each variety. So, uh, Perfect. Duke, we'll, uh, we'll start with you here. See if we can get this share going. There we go. Blast it up. And just, uh, Dylan, I'll run this and, and see. You know, you're, you're killing the penalty here, but you get an opportunity and, and just kind of take us through after we watch this. Two center. Boucher. Trying to find Duke. Killing Duke. Great playing it over the line. Short handed. Got the shot. Score! Still a Duke! So you're obviously uh, you're quickly turning defense into offense and splitting two. What do you what do you see there when you when you rip that shot go bar down? Um, I mean I was just coming down on a defenseman and a big goalie, and I think um, we do a lot of changing angle drills at the end of practice, and where you're shooting around tires and trinkets and stuff. So um, I think I think that that plays into that that drill that we do almost every day at the end of practice where you're shooting around a trinket where you drag it and uh, shoot it around the defenseman. So I uh, just wanted to get a puck on that shorthanded and uh, worked out well. Special well, team, would you say, to uh, to find the areas that maybe somebody else couldn't with the, with the shot? Yeah, I mean, just uh, you gotta got to have some – got to shoot sometimes. And um, I, don't, I don't think I really had – you know, I would have beat the guy wide or anything. I think it was a good time to shoot, so um, it worked. What I want to make about that, and you made it for me, Dylan, and it's a great point. The things you worked on in practice worked in the game, and in that instant, there, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, definitely worked out well. Let's uh, show a Ty Gallagher snipe. I think this is his first, uh, maybe the first uh, NTDP game against Muskegon there, John. That sounds right. So I will uh, we'll run this one up for you. All right. Muskegon out of the scrub. Not quite. Boucher. Good hold in the Muskegon end. Savage took a run at his man. And the shot. Right on goal in the stop. Make Gallagher shot scores. USA gets one back. After now, cool thing. Go ahead, John. I was say, after uh, Tyler makes a real nice play to keep that in the zone, you, you get a little cycle in the shot. What's your uh, anticipation as you get a little closer to the net there, Ty? Yeah, I mean, it, that's, a, that's a great example of skilled grinders right there, too. We went a couple battles in the zone to get the puck back, and then Savvy, Savvy takes a shot and then gets his rebound. And then, uh, you know, I just saw an opening, so I creeped in, and then Savvy found me for the, uh, for the goal. So, yeah, that was a good goal. So, what happened? there? Yep. Excuse me, you happen to have your school buddies there uh, for that night. Uh, that was kind of nice, too, wasn't it? Yeah, that was pretty cool. It was right in front of them. So, uh, yeah, it was a pretty cool memory. So, On, on that goal in particular, Ty, all five skaters are, uh, are real close to the net. I, I know the score wasn't, uh, wasn't in your favor there. But is that something that you're, you're learning from Coach Robo and the rest of the guys, or is that just kind of how that evolved? Yeah, he's like he gives us a lot of freedom. The defenseman he gives us a lot of freedom to to get active in the offensive zone and you know sitting on guys and creeping up. So I think that that's helped my game a lot. That's put me in a lot more positions to score goals. So um, yeah, that's what led to that goal. So well, again, our guests are Ty Gallagher and Dylan Duke. You're watching the the Sunday sit-in. I'm Pete Krupski alongside John Edwards. We've got a couple more minutes with our guests. Um, guys, uh, it says my, uh, my internet's uh, acting up. So can you hear me? Yep. Right. yep. Okay, good. Good. Uh, just, Ty, give me, give me um, how was it last year and what are you looking for this year? I, I know you're really looking forward to it, and we're, we're all excited to get back into the rink again sooner than later. That's for sure, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So last year, um, it was a big jump into the USHL, and I really liked the competition. I think that helped my game excel uh, a lot, just the competition, playing against the older, faster guys. So, um, And then this next year, we're playing the USHL again, but also playing against the colleges, which I'm really looking forward to, which is just another challenge. And then uh, the end goal being U18 Worlds, so hopefully we can uh, pull off a gold medal there. So. Well, Dylan, there's a uh, rumor that we might be playing Michigan State at home pretty early in the year. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but if you're a Michigan commit, uh, 
that's got to be kind of fun for you, right? Yeah, I think it'll be really exciting. I mean, um, play against the rival and, you know, uh, going to be, a, it would be a great battle and um, got a lot of great battles with them to look forward to. So it's exciting. Guys, I'll, I'll end with this and then maybe John will have a follow up. Uh, I just want to get your, your feelings and we'll start with Dylan. Um, just what's it like playing with your group? It seems like when you guys come in from school, there's a ton of enthusiasm. You guys are having fun. You're able to uh, work hard every day, but have fun at the same time. Would that be fair to say? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, we're, we're, we became such a close team and um, all the guys are, are great and they, they, um, we have fun at the rink, but at the same time we work super hard. And uh, I think we uh, found the balance where, you know, when we get in from school, we can, you know, have a little fun at when we're eating lunch or whatever. And then, and then once we get into the gym, it, it's gotta be a, uh, it's gotta be business and we got to work hard and then get on the ice and work hard. And in the classroom with Miss Balmers, we got to work hard. So um, I think we, we kind of found a balance where we can, you know, have fun and mess around with each other, but then, when it's time to work, um, we got to work. Ty, is that how you feel about it? Uh, something similar to Dylan there? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, we came in as 23 strangers, and just like that, we clicked and became brothers. So it was a very quick transition. So, uh, yeah, but we always we always have fun, but we're always willing to do what it takes in the gym and on the ice and in the classroom to uh, to be professionals. So. Well, John, uh, uh, first of all, I want to thank you for setting this up. Uh, for those of you who wonder, John and I kind of go back and forth with emails and texts every week, and uh, John actually sets this up. So John is usually the first star every Sunday for our sit-in, uh, and I want to thank you, and I want to thank our guest. John, any final thoughts? No, um, I, I see Dylan dressed. He's, uh, it looks like he's ready to go hit the links out here. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say thanks for uh, coming on, guys. We're really looking forward to having you back, and it's going to be uh, an extremely fun season, and uh, we're, we're ready to roll. So we'll see you guys soon, and we appreciate the time. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank yeah, you for thank having you. us. Our guests have been uh, Ty Gallagher and Dylan Duke of uh, the 2003 Date of Birth National Team Development Program. They will be at USA Hockey Arena as U18s uh, in the upcoming year, and we look forward to that. Again, this is a Sunday sit-in. We're brought to you by the Summer Drive-In at USA Hockey Arena. Call the hotline. You'll get my voice at 734-927-3284. Um, and we look forward to uh, CJ's Brewing Company opening up again. And uh, they have daily specials now for curbside service. Make sure you check them out. You can give them a call at 734-455. Wait, let's get that number. 734-453-4455. I'm Pete Krupski. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you next Sunday. Thanks for watching, everybody.